Okay, welcome everyone to a review of Ultimate General Gettysburg. Now this is the iPad version of the game. This is not the desktop version. And I wanted to see how this kind of measures up against its big brother here. So let's start it up. So jumping into the game. So right away, you, if you're a previous owner of the desktop version, you're probably gonna notice it looks a little bit different. It's kind of broken up into Union and Confederacy. And on the desktop version, it's a little bit different. You have campaign and you have uh, scenarios and then you have a couple other things. Here, it's just kind of broken up into these two categories here. Jumping in here, uh, unfortunately, I'm probably gonna have to dive into the cons version first, uh, primarily because uh, <laughs> this is the first thing I see. So when I bought this game, I was kind of hoping that I can literally like jump in and play Pickage Charge. Unfortunately, you can't do that. You actually have to play from the first scenario and then go through all of them before you can get to the scenario you want to play. So like when I started, I played the Confederacy first and I actually had to go through all the scenarios of the Confederacy. And as you can see, there's quite a few of them. So I had to go through all these to get to Pickage Charge, which honestly, if you're spending money on the game. I kind of want to play the scenario I want to play. I don't want to kind of go in order to what the developer wants you to do. You know, like I'm paying the money. I, I should be able to play what I want to play when I want to play it. But that's my own personal thing. I think that the developers say, all right, here's the game. Choose what scenario you want to play. If you want to play a campaign, fine. But unfortunately, you have to play through them all, which is unfortunate. Other things that I notice in the game, uh, it's not the full game. So all the scenarios of the game are not here. This is probably maybe like a quarter to the scenarios, so you probably get one out of four scenarios that are actually in the game. Um, unfortunately, it's not every single scenario. I'm hoping in the future they change that, but it's not all there yet. So those are two cons. Let me actually go into one of the games so I could just start on some of the uh, pros soon. Um, go so I'm just gonna finish off the cons here guys so one of the things I also noticed is unit losses don't transfer over to the next scenario so this is kind of big in the desktop version if you like for example I had the Texas Brigade here and you actually I took this guy and I went to um, attack let's say little round top here and I took 50% losses in the next scenario, they will be at traditional strength at 1,734 troops, even though they took 50% losses in this scenario. And it kind of like leaves something out. In the desktop version, when you get the brigade in the next scenario, they are actually at 50% strength. They don't, you don't have the 1,734 men left. And unfortunately, in the iPad game, you, you do. So even if I reduce this brigade down to one man, in the next scenario, I'm going to get them back, which takes away a lot of the realism out of that but so other things that uh, I would also like uh, actually no that is that's pretty much all my uh, yeah that's all my cons so going to the pros here just had to read my list there so as you can see my first pro here is going to be how beautiful this map looks and they really did a great job bringing this over from the uh, desktop version because the desktop version looked absolutely beautiful. And the cool thing about it is even, oh, come on, charge, head up towards brigade here. The animations are beautiful. As you can see, the cannons. And then here we're gonna have the first volley here. It's gonna look beautiful as it does on the desktop version. So. I really appreciate that because, it, believe it or not, it's the map and the graphics and just that really shown in a desktop game, which made me go like, wow, that's awesome. So I really love that. The graphics alone on this are incredible. And I can tell you, I spent hours just playing it and just still, even after hours, I'm like, damn, this is awesome. So I love that. Other things that I... I really love is the beautiful map, uh, which I mentioned already, but I'm gonna mention again. You have the beautiful map here. They recreated little round top and they brought that over uh, from the original desktop version, which again, looks beautiful. 
line of sight they brought over too and it worked perfectly as you can see I can't see what's behind here and I can I can't see what's behind Ward's uh, brigade and uh, or D Trumbra I can't say that name <laughs> it's not gonna happen but um, line of sight works perfectly well here as you can see these guys can not see this guy can't attack Ward's brigade because the line of sight's gone so line of sight is brought over it looks beautiful loving it and the last thing here is the most important thing is they brought over the intuitiveness of the game. Now, one thing I was worried about is can they bring the simplicity of the desktop version to the iPad? And they did. It's crazy easy. You just click on a unit, Barksdale, and you just slide with your finger. And it's actually much more easier than moving a mouse, which is awesome. <laughs> so moving Barksdale's brigade here, and then when they head to get into range, they'll fire. Simple, quick, easy. Loving it. So honestly, it's incredible what they did with the game. Even though it's not the full entire desktop version, I'm hoping in the future that will change, but for what it is, it's an incredible game. Two recommendations that I would love to see in the game is just a couple of things. So like for example, these guys are in I don't know what kind of formation they are in, but <laughs> because they're kind of going back and forth. So now they're in line formation. I would love to see an option here where I can change them to column formation so I can have them move faster. And the other recommendation that I would like to see is I notice like units, I, moving them on like planes or even like in fields, they move at the same speed. So like there's no point in having them use the road because they can kind of do they can go at the same speed any way, which way. It'd be kind of cool if there was an option where if you use the road, they'll move like two times faster or something like that. That would be kind of cool because when like troops actually use the road, they would actually move faster and moving through like a wheat field or anything like that because that would slow people down. I know it slows me down when I walk through the actual uh, Gettysburg and wheat fields and stuff like that. I'm not as fast as I when I move on the roads, which is, you know, obvious, right? <laughs> um, so that's basically the game. Now, you're probably wondering, should I pick this up? Is it worth my valuable money to pick this up? And possibly, if you bought the desktop version, should I pick it up again for the iPad? Well, I can tell you, yes. This is definitely worth the money. It's a great game. I've, I've played it on the iPad more, I think, than I played it on the desktop version. And the reason being is because the iPad's more portable. Like, literally, I'm with my iPad all the time, so I'm constantly just having it on me and just saying, hey, you know what, Let's, let me open up a, pick a charge or attack a little round top. And I literally sunk in hours on this game. In Starbucks, at work, wherever I was, I just sunk in hours. And honestly, you know, I don't, even when I had a Mac laptop, I you know, literally didn't open it up as much because I was always on my iPad or my iPhone. So honestly, I think you're gonna get a lot more game time if you get the iPad version of the game. But that's my review, guys. I would strongly recommend this game. Honestly, this right now is my favorite Civil War game on the iPad. And I've sunk more time into this game than any other Civil War game that I have on my iPad. And it's incredible, and I hope they keep adding uh, content to it. Uh, in the last couple weeks, they've been adding updates, which I love. I hope they keep it coming. But my recommendation is this is definite buy. So that does it for me, guys. I will catch you guys in the next one. See you then.